This snippet is Animating Controls with the Visual State Manager. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll learn how to use the Visual State Manager in Expression Blend 3. The Visual State Manager allows you to define the appearance of a control based on user interaction. So typically, we can think of a control such as a button. States in this button include things like pressed or mouse over. These are user interactions. What you'll be doing here is defining your own states for a user control, in this case, the honeycomb. Now, before we go into the state manager, I do want to point out one thing regarding the code that we're going to be using, in particular, this collision behavior code, collision.cs. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And I'm going to scroll down to line 123. And I'm going to look at this line here, which is commented in green. If action is go to state, trigger the VSM or Visual State Manager state called is collided. So this is the important piece of code here. What we need to do is satisfy this code by creating a Visual State Manager state called is collided. And then we're going to set the action to go to state. The end result will be when this ball hits the honeycomb, we want that honeycomb to slowly fade out. So let's get started here by right-clicking that honeycomb and choosing Edit Control. By doing so, we're within the editing view of this user control called Honeycomb. And now we're going to go ahead and define the states. I'm going to click on this States tab here. And then the first thing I'm going to do is create a state group by clicking this button, Add State Group. Let's go ahead and rename this is collided state group. Once we do that, we now need to add a new state by clicking the Add State button. At this point, anything we do is going to be recorded. But before we do anything, let's go ahead and rename this to the following, Is Collided. Now at this point, we want to be very careful. The syntax of this needs to be the exact syntax that we saw in the code, Is Collided. Now let's click on Layout Root within the Objects and Timeline panel, and we need to set the appearance of this honeycomb. Since we want it to fade out, I'm going to change the opacity from 100 to 0, and then press Return. At the same time, I want to define how long it takes for this to fade out. So there's an option here for default transition. Currently, it's 0 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and pump this up a little bit to 0.3, and then press Return. So this fade out will take place over 0.3 seconds. Now let's go click back on mainpage.xaml. We'll see that there's an exclamation point here on our user control. This means we need to rebuild the project by choosing Project Rebuild. And now we need to modify the behavior associated with this user control. So I'm going to click on the arrow to the left of the Honeycomb user control, and then click on the Collision behavior. Over in the Properties tab, in the Change Properties section, I need to change the action. And again, this points back to the code we looked at earlier. I need to change the action from Visibility to Go to State. And the value has to be the following, is collided. And again, it needs to be exact, capital I, S, collided. So now that code is satisfied, let's go ahead and choose Project Run Project. Let's go ahead and start our game by clicking on the ball. And we'll now see a fade out. I'm going to go ahead and close the browser. And we'll go back to Blend. So at any given point, if you want to modify the length of that animation or that duration, you can go back to your honeycomb by right-clicking it and choosing Edit Control. And here within the States panel, we can always change that default transition time. So for example, we could go in and we could change this to one second. Choose Project Run Project. And when we begin the game, we can now see that the fade out takes a little bit longer. So in this snippet, you've had a chance to learn about the Visual State Manager. Thank you for now. This is Jeremy Osborne presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft.